Hello YouTube, this is Mage Power coming to you once again. I may look a bit out of sorts right now. I literally just got off work not that long ago. Haven't even had time to shower or anything like that after working outside. And I get the news, there are new Wind Witches. I've already noticed from being in House of Champs stream, the market has been going up on them already before we even got these translations. But we knew they were confirmed to be Wind Witches, and they are already going, going, gone. But let's get into them. This is going to be my live reaction on if these cards are good, if these cards will see meta impact. You know, if it's worth buying the current Wind Witches because of these cards. Anyways, let's get into them. Blazing Vortex's Wind Witches. The wind continues to blow out of Blazing Vortex. The first monster is a level 5 wind spellcaster tuner effect, 1800-1800. If you control no monsters or all monsters you control are wind witch monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Okay. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a wind witch monster other than Blizzard Bell, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the grave and inflict 500 damage to your opponent. I guess that enables you to do so th this alone means if you start with your ice bell I believe it is is the initial one you want to start with into your glass bell and then search this out with your glass bell you can make you can then normal summon this because you control only wind witches but then you're committing your normal summon which you're probably playing more for a pure version of Wind Witch. Um, that's okay, I guess, because it's a tuner, but you're still locked into winds already by that point, and you're probably only making a level 8 then, at which point it doesn't do as much, because you're not going to be able to make a crystal wing that way. I don't know if I like this. Okay, we have Wind Witch Freeze Bell. Wind Spellcaster Level 3, 1200, 1200. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If all monsters you control are Wind Witch monsters, you could special summon this card from your hand. Okay, fair enough. Once per turn, you can increase this card's level by 1. Sure. A Wind Synchro monster that was summoned using this card as material cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, so I guess it offers a little bit of battle protection. And this is another card, I guess, that can be summoned by Snow... No, not Snowbell, by Ice Bell. I guess technically you could probably... I believe you could summon this first one off... Off... Uh, sorry, there are also similar names. Snow, Glass, Ice. But Ice Bell... Um... This doesn't search anything like the glass bell does, so I don't know that you're going to want to be summoning this. Like, I get the fact that this can now be the normal summon of the deck, which is fine. This is a free extender from hand, which is fine. But where are we going with this? Okay, Synchro, level 8, Wind Witch Diamond Bell, 2800-2400. 1 plus 1 generic wind. So, I guess, okay, this is a level 8 that they're trying to get you to summon with the level 5 tuner, I'm guessing. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is synchro summoned, you can target a wind witch monster in your graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to half of its attack. Okay, with this being 800, you can burn for 9. I don't think there's a stronger one, but... Okay, burn damage, that's fine. I'm still not seeing enough burn damage for Wind Witches to be relevant. But... <sighs> Once per turn, if your opponent takes battle or effect damage... Okay, so you can trigger this pretty easily. You can target one card on the field and destroy it. Cool! That's a little better. This effect can only be used up to... Can be used up to twice per turn... 
if this was Synchro Summon using only Wind Witch monsters as material. That's not bad. I like that. This effect is pretty good. But this... The effect to take damage, though... I guess the fact that this is a quick effect to inflict damage now becomes relevant. So you can send this from your hand to the grave to inflict 500 damage to trigger this effect. This effect, sorry. That's... It's cool, but uh, I don't like that. I, I don't think that's worth it. It's cool that they're trying to make it kind of their own deck, but I don't, I don't like that. Normal spell, Bell Chime of the Wind Witch, or Chime of the Wind Witch. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon monsters of the turn you activate this effect, or sorry, this card, except wind monsters. So, standard restrictions on it. You can target one Wind Witch monster you control, special summon one Wind Witch monster with a different name from your deck in defense position. Okay, this is a good card. This right here might affect things. Because now you're talking about being able to access any Wind Witch freely out of your deck. So that could actually change actually how the engine itself plays. Because now if you control a Wind Witch, so say you normal summon Glass Bell, Glass Bell effect can now search for your Snow Bell. And then you can activate this to summon your Ice Bell. And then activate your Snow Bell to special summon itself. I think in decks that are going to play the engine, you might see this played in those decks. And I think if the pure version of this becomes good, I think this is probably one of the reasons why. But I don't think... From what I've seen, the pure version is going to be good. But I think this could affect how people play the engine, Wind Witch. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Ice Winds Refrain, Normal Trap. Activate one of these effects. Target one Wind Witch monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense. Okay, so you can summon back your Glass Bell, get effect. Cool. That's all right. When your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your activation of your Wind Witch monster's effect, you can negate that opponent's effect. Okay, so like if you have this set and you activate Ice Bell, you can activate this if they Ash Blossom. Seems good. I like this card. I know it's a trap, but I like this card. I think this card's actually not bad. I don't know that you'd play it with just the engine. But if you end up playing a more pure version of Wind Witch, I think this is, car is a card you probably actually would play. That's a pretty good card. I like this card. I ironically think these are the two best cards coming out. I don't think this really changes how Wind Witches are played, though. I don't think this is enough. I think this is alright, but I think it's a start. I don't think it's enough. Anyways, if you like the video, you know, like, subscribe, appreciate it. I, I wish I had better things to say about these cards. I'm just not seeing it. Like, I, I think this is the only card that's going to see any sort of relevant play. And even that's a stretch. I don't think that Wind Witches have a place in the meta right now. And they haven't for a while. And I don't think this card by itself changes that. I think... If we do see Wind Witch come back, I think this is a card that we'll see play alongside them. Because it is actually a rather good card for them. But I don't think either of these are worth playing in the engine. 
and I still don't think they're good enough. I don't think they have enough places to actually go to be a standalone deck. I, I'm i sorry, I don't see it. If they get some better cards, maybe some more dedicated synchros, maybe a level 6, you know, a level... Uh, they could definitely easily do with a level 4 synchro. I think also considering now we have a level 5 tuner, we could use possibly a... Uh, maybe that'd be an 11, because you'd have this plus you'd have three plus five plus three you can also potentially have four plus three plus three for level 10 once we if we start getting some different levels here for it possibly maybe even some link support i think that could be interesting but obviously i'm just theory crafting at this point it's something i just naturally think about what decks might need i think they're still just missing too much to be their own deck. But anyways, I appreciate you stopping by watching this video. If you liked it, give it that thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it that thumbs down. It still helps me. It gives me that interaction. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one.